I have worked at Capital Stage since we were working on Chinese Lady. So I think the exact date was December 14th. I only remember that. Why do I remember that? That's such a specific date. I'm not sure why I remember that, but I've worked there since December 14th. I started as overhire in the scene workshop. And now I'm a full-time employee in the scene shop. I do carpentry, but mostly I do painting. So my, my favorite show that I've worked on was probably Predictor, just because it's such a paint heavy show. I know the scenic charge artist, Sam, um, was a bit frustrated with how heavy it was on paint. But for me, it was really nice because I could just show up. I knew exactly what I was doing. I could just get started. And so yeah, that was my favorite show just because of how much painting I got to do. So I did uh, a chalk mural for Capital Stage for Chalk It Up. It was really just the, I redrew the promotional image for Clyde's and I used my own color palette. Um, I really wanted to play to the strengths of the medium because I'm not super experienced with chalk. I usually use paint or oil pastels. So I knew that um, chalk is really good at blending like soft lines. So I tried to not have any sharp lines or contour lines or outlines and I wanted to be able to use a cohesive color palette because the colors that were on the design, they were very vibrant. And I don't have that range with the chalk because it's harder to mix chalk. You can blend it very well, but you can't mix colors like you can with paint or like you can use a color picking tool digitally. This was my first ever chalk mural. I really like how it turned out. I think um, it's something I wanna do more. My background in performing arts is that ever since, so in, in kindergarten and first grade, we did what uh, Reader's Theater, which was basically like um, reading from a script. Instead of having to memorize it, you have like a music stand with your script. And I was always like the big bad wolf or whatever. I loved playing villains. I loved, I loved being a big speaking role because I love being the center of attention. And <laughs> so I was playing roles from kindergarten all the way to college, like every single year except maybe fourth grade. I was acting in some sort of play until uh, I got to junior year of high school. I got really overwhelmed with school, so I decided to start doing the technical side, and I made puppets for a Zoom production of She Kills Monsters, and that's what really got me into the technical side of theater. And I've been making art, like drawing, painting, sculpting, since I was little, because my grandpa on my mom's side went to art school. He was a professional artist, and my mom really cultivated my artistic abilities because of this experience with her dad and because she's an artist too. So I've been working with like all the meetings, mediums I can get my hands on since I was, since I could hold a pencil pretty much. Uh, I've hardly taken any art classes, but uh, I think last semester, no, the semester before, last year, last fall, was the first art class I ever took um, f fully, like all the way through. Uh, and that was a three-dimensional design class. And it really taught me about the principles of design and it was really helpful. Um, yeah, so that's my background. When I'm not working, I like to, I, I love going to cafes. Uh, there's a coffee shop near Sac City College called Five Sips Coffee and Tea that I love going to. Sometimes I sell my stuff there. I make little like necklaces and brooches and earrings and stuff like that. I love to sell there. I love to try out new coffee shops. Uh, I love to make art in my free time. Occasionally I'll dabble in like computer animation. Um, still very, very beginner at it, but it's so much fun. I've been decorating my room more. I just painted a mural on one of my walls. Um, and oh, I have pet frogs. So I take care of my frogs. I have four pet frogs. Um, and I have a cat too. And he's also a lot of work. He's very noisy. He's very needy. He's very hungry. I think I've covered a lot of what I wanted to say. The only thing I can think of is I saw a really cute cat on the way here and I think everyone needs to know that there's really cute cats around Midtown. It was a fluffy orange and white one. 